friends and family of YouTube. What kind of RV channel would I have if I didn't bring y'all some variety? Look what I got behind me here today. Man, this is pretty cool. You're gonna love this. Man, check out this HQ12 Black Series Caravan. Man, this thing is awesome. Hey, I know we're gonna have some road noise out here today. But if you're interested in something like this, you can't be afraid of a little road noise. After I get the outside here, I'll go inside and you won't be hearing all the all these vehicles behind us. So uh, anyway, let me start out here in the back side and show you what this thing's got going on. Man, if Crocodile Dundee had him a, a camper, I guarantee you this is what he would have. Look at this, this thing is a single axle, but it comes with two spare tires. They intend on you to get in out and see in some countryside with this thing. Man, I tell you what. Now, folks, I do want to tell you, I don't work for the company that makes these or sells these. So I may leave something off in the description here as I go through it. I'm just a regular guy like you. If I got out here, this is, this is the same way you would see it. So that's what I'm trying to help you out with today. This thing comes with 16 inch tires on this massive single axle unit i say massive look look at that a little bit of storage in here and right here you've got your breaker panel and i was not able to get into here so i don't know if that's where your propane is at or if that is where your batteries are at so i'm not able to show you that but i am able to show you this thing's got an outside kitchen Look at this, you got a three burner cooktop here. Got you a decent sized sink. Got you an area for prep space here and over there as well, or you could eat over there. Look at all this crap they give you with it. Man, you've got a level here that'll show you down to the specific point as to whether you're level all the way around or not. They gave you some twine in case you wanna go out making some bales of hay. And they got, got all kinds of other stuff in there as well. This uh, door here was also locked, so I was not able to get into it. But it does have an awning out here that is an electric awning. You got two speakers out here. Got you a two-step entry. Man, I tell you what, enough of this. Let's go inside and see what's going on. So I am standing right at the doorway. Here is, I'm still outside. So what I wanted to show you is the refrigerator while I am here. It's a refrigerator freezer combo. Just got one little door up in here where you can put just your bare essentials and you've got enough room here to put whatever you might need to. Even got a little crisper drawer down below. Got an area here where you can put eggs or butter or whatever. And let's see if, got you some storage in here also. And let's go up in here and see what else is going on. You've got a three burner cooktop inside as well as the one that, that you've got outside. Man, you can have two people cooking all at the same time. Got a decent size sink here, probably about the size of about six hands. Got you a little area down below that as well. And right here you got a microwave, just a standard microwave. That is not a convection type. And you've got a drawer here. Okay. And going up, this is a canvas rooftop system. And I am not familiar with what all is going on up in here. So again, I may leave some stuff off. So let's go ahead and show you what we got going on up here on the roof. You do have the uh, roof mount air conditioning, which I do like to see that. I never like to see those wall mounted air conditioning units. You got a bed up here on the top side. Also got you a dinette area down below. Got a good size bed in here. Got a TV on a swivel mount system. That is a good size bed right there, folks. <laughs> I would say that that could be a queen size. But it also, not only has it got this refrigerator in here, but you've also got this Dometic cooler type fridge let's see if i can open this thing up got a decent amount of room and these things run off of your battery source 
So if you're going out, uh, going out away from electricity, you've got that covered. All right, so now let me show you into the bathroom area. So the bathroom looks like a, uh, let me check. That is a porcelain toilet. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe that. I just knew that would be a plastic toilet. This is porcelain as well. How about that? Man, this is pretty nice. And over here into the shower, they did give you a fan. I personally would like to see an upgrade on that fan, but it is what it is. And it looks like you can unzip these walls. So if you wanted to uh, open that up for like a window, let me try that out. And by the way, there is plenty of headspace in here. I am 6'1", and I have plenty of headspace inside this shower. It's a little tough to do this with one hand, so I'm just going to go that far, show you what we got going on. We got some mosquito netting here. So you got, man, I could immediately feel some cross ventilation as soon as I got that unzipped. So, man, that is a, that's very helpful to have that. And I uh, don't know if I showed you the door, but the door is a shorter height level because when you do have this rooftop collapses, you have it in the downward position that will help as you're going down the road that you're not having too much uh wind disturbance they gave you some outlets in here too as well i'd like to show those to you you got one right between those uh windows over here and you've also got one between this window that the tv hooks up into and uh plenty of windows all the way around and of course these windows open up to give you a little bit uh better breeze Man, I did not point these out, but I need to. Has Clarion speakers. Man, if you've ever been out listening to uh, speakers in an RV, those things are horrible. <laughs> but uh, Clarion, back in the day when I was growing up, Clarion was some good stuff. Clarion and Jensen is what everybody wanted back then, and Pioneer. All right. Well, I like to always give you a layout of the land, and uh, I'm not. I'm not able to give you as much of a layout of the land as I'd like to because of this system here. I can tell that this system collapses, but I do not how I do not know how that works. I don't like to fool with things that I don't know how they work. Because if I was to break that, man, I would never forgive myself, and they might not either. Anyway, I did not point out the storage here, but man, that is very handy that you can just stick something inside there to get it in or out of your way. This may even be part of a, an additional bed system. I do not know, but the way this is laying here, it makes me think that this might collapse down and make a bed across here. Again, I'm not saying that it is or isn't. I'm saying that it's a possibility. But uh, man, this is pretty cool. Well, I like to give you the good and the bad as I see it when I see it. Today I didn't see it, but I got to feel it. <laughs> One of the things I do not like about this is that very low head height on the door. So as you're coming in or out of the door, uh, it is a little low, so you can knock your head on it. So I like to point out the good and bad and hopefully save you from knocking your head on it too. Well, folks, uh, I've got a lot of videos on this channel. If it's the first time for you to check my channel out, I've got well over a hundred rvs on here so if this is not the perfect one for you hopefully on my channel i will have one on there that you're looking for so i'd appreciate it if y'all join it check it out and uh plenty more videos to come i appreciate y'all spending some time with me today i hope y'all have a good one see y'all soon bye bye well, I just wanted to remind you that I don't work for the company that makes them or sells them, but uh, I did leave you some contact information if you'd like to call uh, one of the salesmen over at the dealership that I was at uh, at this particular day. I was over at Rocket RV, which is just outside of uh, Huntsville and Decatur area, so uh, give Josh over there a call. I'm sure he'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. So thanks again for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.